for the Green Knights. The four captains bring home the fourth title. Third time in four years. Hockey National Championships have become the norm at St. Norbert College. But what you might not realize is how quickly head coach Tim Coughlin and his staff built what is now a Division III power. 20-year overnight success story is really what it is. I just remember it was like it was yesterday. I remember our workouts in here and uh, the things that we were doing to try to get our guys bigger and stronger and faster. And it all started in the modest confines of the De Pere Ice Center, where the Green Knights established themselves, competing intercollegiately for the first time in 1988-89 and winning their first league championship in 1996. There's a lot of sweat equity in this place. I mean, again, from the kids carrying their dorms, uh, their equipment back and forth from their dorms to year two when we uh, uh, put a uh, tractor trailer off the side and a gas blower and, and, and hung our stuff there. And then really to building the locker rooms off the back where, uh, you know, it was that first real um, sense of home. After 12 years in a program on the rise, St. Norbert simply outgrew the De Pere Ice Center and needed a new home. In 2000, the Green Knights moved their operations to the Cornerstone Community Center in nearby Ashwaubenon. What the Green Knights have been able to accomplish in a short period of time in the highly competitive NCHA is staggering. I think we have over 46 All-Americans now. Uh, I think we have four national players of the year, uh, four national championships to our credit, and seven title games. I think it's very important that players have a sense of ownership. We require our guys to take care of their own space. It's Green Knight pride, or as the street sign entering the Cornerstone Community Center reads, the Green Knight way. It's the way you represent yourself, your family, and your program. Coach Tim Coughlin and his staff have developed a strong system, and it's produced eye-popping results, both on the ice and in the classroom. The academics at St. Norbert are number one. Um, it, it's certainly why most young men choose St. Norbert is our graduation rates are through the roof. Uh, our graduates are going on and doing great things. Take Ryan Wimpy, for example. He left Canada to play hockey and attend St. Norbert from 1998 to 2002. He is now vice president of a financial planning company in De Pere. Wimpy still remains close to Coughlin and the Green Knights hockey program. It's a special place. Uh, I've played in a lot of places, a lot of different teams, met a lot of good people, but this was the place. Shane Wheeler from Eagle River, Alaska, skated for the Green Knights from 2006 through 2010 and was a part of St. Norbert College's national championship team in 2008. Wheeler went on to get his law degree and is a certified public accountant working for Shank, a full service CPA and business consulting firm in Green Bay. I really think that he's He's designed a team that could compete at the Division I level at Division III. For Wempy and Wheeler, who came to St. Norbert's sight unseen, it was a perfect match, both on and off the ice. I've played on junior teams, and I've had close ties with a lot of people. And none of it compares to what you experience uh, down here. Look for Hill, and Michael Hill scores for St. Norbert. You know, it's a beautiful campus, right on the river. Having professors that are very accessible is, is really a huge benefit. At other schools, I don't think you have that opportunity. You can kind of get lost in the shuffle or be a number, whereas I, I just did not feel that at all at St. Norbert. I think they do a really, really good job of having their professors involved with every student. St. Norbert has produced its share of professional hockey players too, like Canadian's Kyle Stroh, who was a part of two national championships, or Joe Perry, who won three national titles in four years as a member of the Green Knights. Both are working their way through the professional hockey ranks. I mean, if you're looking to continue your hockey career, it's not the end if you come here. It's basically the beginning, and you know that's kind of how I've seen it. That's why I thought the college row was the best. You can continue playing hockey for as long as you want, but when you're done, you have a degree to fall back on. St. Norbert College is located on the banks of the Fox River in the residential community of De Pere, Wisconsin, neighboring Green Bay. The campus is pristine, and nearly 2,200 students call St. Norbert College their home. St. Norbert has had the best four-year graduation rate in the state over the past 10 years. Over the last six years, St. Norbert has had $100 million in new or renovated facilities, including a new $40 million state-of-the-art science facility that will house the Medical College of Wisconsin. The Green Bay Packers have called St. Norbert College their training camp home since 1958 the longest relationship between a pro football team and college in the NFL. For the Green Knights, Tony Kajaba. There are four major TV networks in the Green Bay area 
who cover the Green Knights hockey program on a regular basis. We've got that, that media attention that most people wouldn't expect at a program like ours. And then you've got the hockey program that, that really backs it up. The St. Norbert College Green Knights hockey program has had plenty of success and the hardware to prove it. But Coach Coglin, who built the program from scratch, believes there's more to it than just hanging championship banners from the rafters. It isn't so much about the national championships, it's about the graduates. It's about the young men who have come here and have become success stories on their own.